Hi guys, this is Mike with DCS Tuning, and today we're going to be installing a new fuel filter on this B6 Audi A4. Most manufacturers refer to fuel filters as a lifetime part or don't even mention it as part of their maintenance schedule. Here at ECS Tuning, we think that's a bad idea. You see, a fuel filter's job is to hold dirt. Once it holds as much dirt as it can, it clogs. In far too many cases, a clogged fuel filter can lead to failed emissions tests, serious engine performance problems, or the costly repair of fuel system components such as the fuel pump or injectors. Here are several problems that are commonly associated with the clogged fuel filter. Engine performance problems on this list can all be caused by fuel starvation. When the fuel filter is clogged, the pump can no longer supply enough fuel to the injectors and the engine literally runs out of gas. That's not all. This is where it can start to get expensive. The added work needed to force the fuel through a clogged filter also makes the pump work harder and run hotter, shortening the pump's life. Before we start, let's take a look at the filter we're installing. Note that there are four hose connections at the filter. Unlike older filters with a single inlet and outlet, this filter has extra lines because it contains a pressure regulator. There's a directional arrow on the outside of the metal filter body. This arrow needs to point towards the front of the car. The tools we'll be using in today's installation include a Schwab and trim piece removal tool, a T25 Torx driver, a 10 millimeter socket, a 3 8 ratchet, a short extension, and a pair of needle nose pliers. We'll be working on a lift today, but if you're doing this at home, we ask that you observe all normal safety procedures when lifting the car. Work on a flat, stable surface, and please support the vehicle with an approved set of rigid jack stands and never trust your personal safety to a hydraulic jack alone. You will spill fuel during the filter replacement, so have a rag or a can handy to catch the spillage. Protect your eyes and skin from direct exposure to liquid fuel. Work in a well-ventilated area and no smoking. Remember, gasoline fumes are highly combustible, so it's important to clear the fumes from the work area as soon as possible. Before raising the car, back off the fuel filler cap far enough to relieve any residual vapor pressure inside the tank. Now, raise the car. The fuel filter on our Audi is attached to the underside of the chassis in front of the passenger side rear tire. The first step here is removing this cover. We're going to remove this retaining clip, the two 10 millimeter nuts, and these two torque screws. Now, you can go ahead and remove the plastic cover. Remove this T25 torch screw and drop the fuel filter from its holder. Once the fuel filter is free, you have clear access to all four lines. The fuel lines are quick connect style with an internal seal and a plastic lock clip to hold them in place. Before you disconnect the fuel lines, make sure they're clean. Once your fuel lines are clean, disconnect them from the old filter and connect them to the corresponding spots on the new one. Here's where you'll need your oil catch can or rags since you're sure to spill some gas. Have your new filter ready as you start disconnecting lines from the old filter. Push the hose ends onto the new filter until you hear them click in place. Give them a tug to be sure they're tight. Leaving the protective plastic shipping caps in place on the opposite side of the new filter reduces gas spillage. Once your inlet hoses are done, repeat the process on the outlet hoses. Remove the outlet lines from the old filter. Then, remove the shipping caps from the new filter one at a time as soon as you connect the lines. 
Use care when compressing the plastic clips on the fuel fitting to avoid breaking them. If you do break them, the connections will leak, requiring new hoses. To release the fuel lines from the filter, press the fitting towards the filter itself and squeeze the locking clips. Once the locking clips are depressed, pull away from the filter. Once all four lines are snug, reinstall the filter in its holder and tighten the gas cap. Once the gas cap's tightened, start the engine. You'll have to crank it longer than usual to fill the filter before it will start. Let the engine run for a minute or so, then check for leaks. Once you're sure there's no leaks, Finish the installation by replacing the plastic cover you removed. Let's take a look at what was inside the old filter. As you can see, the fuel in the filter was filled with sediment. When we cut the filter open, you can see just how bad this filter was. Clogged with dirt, it was restricting the flow of gas from the tank to the engine, putting added stress on the fuel pump. Visit ecstuning.com where you can find all the parts you need to keep your car running strong.